Cheers. Cheers. So cheers. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaleesa if you're new here and today I'm going to be showing you all three Prosecco holiday cocktails that you all can enjoy with your friends and family this holiday season. So if you're going to be hosting Christmas morning brunch and you want a nice cocktail to wow everybody with, or if you're about to be hosting a holiday party soon, I've got you covered on your Prosecco cocktails that you can share with your family and friends. So without any more hold up, let's go ahead and jump into our cocktails. So for our first cocktail, I'm gonna be making a spice cranberry bellini. If you're familiar with the traditional bellini cocktail, you know that it's traditionally made with peach and peach schnapps. But since it's the holidays, we're gonna flip it and make a cranberry spice one. For all of my drinks in this video, I'm gonna actually be using Asti Spumanti. This is a sparkling wine. And the good thing about this wine, it's sweeter. So if you're someone who likes more sweeter cocktails, I would highly recommend going with Asti, Asti Spumanti to make these cocktails rather than Prosecco. I've got my Golden Schlager, AKA my cinnamon schnapps. The next ingredient in this cocktail are my frozen cranberries. And then I have some simple syrup that I'll be adding just a little bit. To make this cocktail, you're gonna wanna blend your cranberry. This is two cups of frozen cranberries. When you are actually about to make these, I would recommend going ahead and taking them out of the freezer so that they can thaw a little bit. I'm going to add four ounces of my cinnamon schnapps. And then I'm going to add just a tablespoon of simple syrup. The reason why I'm adding that is because these are like real raw cranberries. They can be on the bitter side, so I wanna make sure there's a little bit of sweetness to this cocktail. Once I have everything in the blender, I'm going to, of course, blend it. Y'all, I completely had a brain fart, y'all. I added only one ounce of freaking cinnamon schnapps. It needs four. So we're rewinding right now. Whatever that wine noise is, and I'm gonna add the other ounces of cinnamon schnapps. Now I can blend it. I know y'all was sitting up here looking at me crazy, like, girl, there's no like liquid in here whatsoever. I know. I'm having a little brain for y'all. Full transparency. So I did want to taste my mixture before I assemble the final drink. I'm definitely getting the just freshness and the bitterness of the cranberries as well as my cinnamon from the cinnamon schnapps. I'm only going to fill up my glass about a fourth of the way with my blended cranberries. I'm gonna use my bar spoon to stir up my bellini. I'm gonna garnish my drink with some rosemary to give it that Christmas feel, a blood orange, and a couple of cranberries. And this, y'all, is your holiday spice cranberry bellini. Cheers. Oh, that's good, y'all. This is so good. You're getting the spices the cranberry, and like I said, the wine, the sparkling wine that I'm using, because it's sweeter than Prosecco, it's kind of calming down the bitterness of the cranberries and the sharpness of the cinnamon. It's adding that sweetness that we want. This is a great cocktail, you all. This will be really, really good for that Christmas morning brunch. Mm, you will have to make this. So let's move on to our second cocktail. So for our second drink, I'm gonna be creating a peppermint bark mimosa. For this cocktail, I have my sparkling wine, of course, my peppermint schnapps, 
and my cream de cacao or my chocolate liqueur. So these are the three main liquors I'm gonna be using. I also have my white chocolate here and my crushed peppermint because that's how I'm going to rim my glass. So I'm gonna start off by dipping my cocktail glass, my champagne glass in my white chocolate. Once I've got a good amount of chocolate, I'm gonna go ahead and whoop. And then I would recommend, you know, moving it around a little bit so you get a good amount of your peppermint on the rim. And voila, we've got our peppermint rim right there, you guys. So for this cocktail, we're gonna mix together one ounce of peppermint schnapps and then our one ounce of chocolate schnapps before we top our mimosa off with our sparkling wine. So now that we have our two liqueurs together, we're gonna go ahead and mix everything together. Now, you don't need to do a whole bunch of shaking, just a little bit to mix everything together, um, but you don't wanna break down the ice. Now that I have everything mixed together, I'm going to use my strainer, y'all, and strain this bad boy in my flute. And of course, I'm going to garnish my cocktail with a candy cane, y'all. Come on. You can't do a peppermint mimosa without a candy cane. Now, as you can see, my cocktail is giving milk chocolate vibes, y'all. I went to the liquor store and the white chocolate liquor was in my face, but my crazy behind was like, oh no, I want like actual chocolate liqueur. It's giving a milk chocolate peppermint bark, but either way y'all, get some white chocolate. Learn from my mistakes, but cheers. This cocktail tastes really, really good. Um, it, again, it has that perfect balance of the chocolate and the peppermint liqueur, and then the white chocolate rim it kind of adds to the sweetness. So this is really a great cocktail if you're gonna be having a holiday party, um, maybe it's a after Christmas while you're enjoying some Christmas desserts, this is a good one to have. But please, make sure you get white chocolate liqueur. And this is not just, oh, it's made with white chocolate, no. It's just the liquor is clear and it'll blend together a lot better. So for our last, cocktail i'm going to be making the santa baby i named this cocktail the santa baby because it reminds me of the eartha kit song where she's listing all the things she wants santa baby and i recall in that song she's listing she wants a baby convertible and she wants you know decorations from tiffany so every time i think about that song i just think of baby blue, light blue, and here is why the cocktail has gotten his name. You will see, as you can see, we've got our sparkling wine. The main ingredient that's gonna give us our baby blue color, which is our hypnotic, y'all, our vodka. We've got our pineapple juice, some whipped cream, and some light corn syrup. Now I will say for the whipped cream, to get it in more of a liquid form, you're gonna wanna add just a little bit of water, y'all. Just eyeball it, um, but you don't need a ton of water. You just do some whipped cream and a couple of splashes of water to kind of get it to that water format. We need our coconut and our sprinkles. So you can either just use coconut or if you're not a coconut fan, you can use some clear, pretty sprinkles. Um, but we're gonna be using this to rim our glass. We're gonna dip our glass in the corn syrup just to get it nice and sticky and round around the rim. And then I'm going to go ahead and dip it in my sprinkle coconut concoction. So we've got our snow for our glass. All right, so let's get to mixing. We're gonna add a ounce of vodka. I'm gonna add an ounce and a half of our hypnotic because we want that blue color to come out. I'm gonna do three fourths of an ounce of cream. I'm 
And then we're gonna top this off with pineapple. Not too much because we don't want the yellow to take away from our blue coloring. And then we're gonna shake. Not too much shaking, just enough to mix everything up. So now that we have everything shaken and mixed together, we're gonna pour about half of our glass. And here you go, we have our Santa baby. It's giving a little like almost Tiffany blue slash like it's knocking on the door of it wants to be green. So you want to play with the hypnotic a little bit, but it gives us our blue fill. So cheers. Oh, this is good. Now, while this is supposed to be a Christmas cocktail, it's taking me to the Caribbeans, y'all. Um, because of that pineapple juice and because of the hypnotic, it's giving tropical feel. So you're gonna be sipping on this and you're gonna wanna start booking your plane tickets to go to Jamaica or Barbados because it's giving tropics, y'all. So we have our three completed cocktails, y'all. Our spiced cranberry bellini, our milk chocolate peppermint bark mimosa, and then our Santa baby. Y'all, just some learning tips so you don't make the same mistakes as me. Make sure if you don't want the milk chocolate look and you want more of a clear peppermint look, make sure you get the clear chocolate liqueur from the liquor store. For our Santa baby, play with the pineapple juice. Be mindful that the hypnotic is gonna give you the blue coloring that you seek, but that yellow from our pineapple juice is going to ruin it. So you can either scale back on the pineapple juice or you can add some food coloring to get more of the blue color that you want. Either way, you're gonna drink it and you're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be a blast in a glass. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like it. Liking this video helps me to grow as a channel. Comment below if you enjoyed this video, y'all. Right now, I'm doing cocktails in the short form, so if you haven't had the opportunity to check out some of my other cocktails I've made on my channel, please go ahead and do so. But I'm thinking about, and I'm probably gonna do more of these long form cocktail making videos in the future. So comment below some cocktails you'd like me to try. Maybe if you want me to do a more traditional cocktail, so our Cosmos, our martinis, I can do that. Or if you want me to kind of show you all some different cocktails that are focused more on a style of liquor, so our vodkas, our gins, our whiskeys, let me know below and I will definitely make sure I create that content. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.